this is what the high coast is all about high mountains and a lot of water so today I'm going to run in the national park uh, it's called Balesudda National Park it's a part of the Höga Kustenleden, the high coast uh, trail so <laughs> it's gonna be a rough ride and I'm gonna suffer today because it's gonna be a lot of steep cliffs and uh, a lot of uh, forest running but I'm looking forward to it it's gonna be super fun but man I'm not gonna be home for I don't know six hours it's kind of cold I'm gonna wait with uh, the running until I get to the forest and uh, yeah I'll take you guys with me for the journey see what happens today for bad or for worse you'll come with me we're like a married couple you and I <laughs> so uh, yeah enjoy guys this is uh, running in the Hagia Kusten area or the high coast area in Sweden in Scandinavia on the 78th parallel and it's uh, the 30th of May here's where it starts it says that it's a nature reserve so yeah basically it's early morning still so I have many a hill to climb and here's actually the only thing that they do in the national park of the nature reserve they cut up trees that have fallen over the trail but the rest if a tree falls off the trail they let it be just like that so uh, to be honest <laughs> I don't know how far I will run today I don't know how far away from home I am but it's at least 30k <laughs> and that's kind of daunting because I've never run that far before but uh, I have plenty of drink plenty of food and I don't really have to be home until Monday morning so we're all fine we have at least 48 hours to get home so it should be good I don't really do this as a much of a challenge it's more like an expansion of my training I want to get into longer distances and uh, last week I was out hiking for six hours and I thought okay if I can get through hiking for six hours I might just be able to jog for six hours as well you know so last weekend was actually quite cool on the Friday I started out with running 17k in hilly terrain and that was hard but uh, still on the Sunday I felt fine so and the weather was just like it is today blue skies and I felt like I didn't want to just waste the day being inside 
So I came up with this idea that I wanted to try to hike a vertical K <laughs> on the mountain back home. So I went out and I in search for a few steep hills and I started hiking up and down. Five something hours later I felt like I was running out of time so I went home. I'm just continuing on to amp up the distances and since I'm a sucker for adventures and stuff uh, this was uh, the most exciting plan I could come up with to go out to the national park at Balesudan. So this week I've been having a, a short technical run. That run was uh, about 5k in length and then I had I ran down to the gym one day uh, and that's about two kilometers and on the side of that I've been uh, having to walk to work and back every day. Man, I can feel the ocean breeze now. The ocean is just here. So salty scent in the air. And let's go down to the beach and run on that. Woo! <laughs> Look at this. And thanks to the Allemansi. I don't know what that's called in in uh, English. I don't know if there's a name for it. But there's a law in Sweden. Maybe if you've been looking at my other videos, I talked about it. And there's a law in Sweden that makes me, that gives me the right to basically just walk on any beach I want. So. If the state owns the land, like this piece of land here, you're free to walk through nature. And oh yeah, there's the boat over there. Cool. So that was a little beach. Let's get cracking and keep on moving. <laughs> and just like that, <laughs> we're climbing again straight off the beach. <laughs> I had something like 400 meters of flat ground and I run into another hill. So that's the beauty about the high coast. It's cruel. It's as cruel as it is beautiful. I can really see why uh, runners such as uh, Emily Forsberg came from here and became successful at running because it really is up and down, up and down, up and down. And uh, here's a really interesting part. A couple of years ago, I think it was something like 10 years ago, uh, a lightning struck on the point out here. And what it did was that it basically burnt everything out here. And nowadays it looks a bit like mortar <laughs> with red rock under it. <laughs> so, but nature is actually recuperating quite fine. As you can see here, we have beach bushes and yeah the old spruce and pine which actually did make it through the fire but last time I was here we weren't allowed to go out on the point because of uh, the hazard of cracking rocks 
and basically injuring yourself. As you probably can see here, the effects of the fire were quite devastating. You see there's almost no moss here since the moss takes a really long time to grow back and you have more or less only rock here look at the view nice huh yeah this is what I'm talking about this is why I came here look at that view how cool isn't that man look at this drop off it's something like I don't know about 150 meters now <laughs> So uh, I stopped to take a pause to get some energy in and some drink. <laughs> so what I wanted you to see was that, I don't know if you can see it, but you would see those specks down there, those little dots of white, red and grey. That's where I live. And maybe you could see the radio mast there, over there on the hill. That's my home mountain <laughs> where I run mostly so uh, that's pretty pretty far away to be honest so it's a little bit daunting and considering the fact that to get out to the point I've been moving for six kilometers so my guess is that I have about <laughs> 20k to cover to get home probably more oh man <coughs> this is gonna be a long run and just like that we're down on the coast again so this is actually a, a different beach I've crossed the ridge and come down here and now really all I have to do is to follow that coastline until I get to home. Here's a little cabin that you can use and sleep overnight if you want to. I'm gonna go over the beach. This is a lot more fun. Because I know the trail continues up here. I've been here before, you know, a few times, so I know the area. <clears throat> and we're at 
10 kilometers at the moment and I'm feeling a little heavy but we're all right heart rate is very high so I'm gonna walk <laughs> okay it must have been the sand well actually I'm just gonna take it easy for a while so this train is a, is a very scenic one to say the least I love it I've never been here as a runner before but uh, as a hiker I've been here twice actually three times I guess and this trail literally follows the coastline all the way up to uh, I think it's called sand a little community of holiday homes I was just about to put away the camera and pack it into my race west since I didn't need it more I thought and then I came across this have a look at that now ain't that beautiful wow I knew it was here but I had forgotten about it <laughs> I thought it was a much a much smaller stream to be honest but uh, this is a, a sizable creek I would say quite nice and uh, in all these all these creeks that runs down down into the sea um, it comes from the inland national park they're all good to drink this is really this is why I run or why I hike and why I go out into the wild and really when I come across a place like this I just take a break because uh, it gives so much you know it's so rewarding to take a pause and just to sip in the atmosphere for a while it really uh, lifts your spirit On this kind of trail, running is kind of hard. You have no no sure footing anywhere. And oh, look at that! The European wiper. Look at that guy. Hello, dude. You down there? Looking up the sun. Can't blame him really. That's one of the best ideas for a pastime today so 